Royal Dynasty. The queen keeps her head, Camilla copes well with the role of ruler. Three senior members of the royal dynasty have retired at the same time, which is a rare, if not unique, case. Queen Camilla has to bear the responsibility. Queen Camilla is now the most experienced of the active members of the royal dynasty, and she seems to have adapted well to her new role as deputy king, says royal writer Pauline McLaren, professor at Royal Holloway University of London. Three senior members of the royal dynasty, King Charles, Prince William and Princess Catherine, are on leave this week and in the near future, so Camilla has to fill the gaps. Kate is recovering from abdominal surgery, and William took leave to be with her. Charles is due to have prostate surgery, which will take at least two weeks to recover from. Although it was unexpected and, possibly, unique, Camilla is doing well so far, said Professor Holloway McLaren in an interview with Daily Express US. McLaren said of the turn of events, there is no doubt that she has more on her plate than she expected. Professor Holloway McLaren added, however, the Queen is doing well so far. Other members of the royal dynasty, namely Princess Anne and Prince Edward, who are also members of the state council, will be able to help her if needed. Not long ago, Camilla held her first royal event this year. The Queen visited the Aberdeen Art Gallery to open safe space. There, Queen Camilla commented on the King's health, saying, He is fine, thank you for your care. His Majesty is looking forward to returning to work. Buckingham Palace issued a statement on Charles's prostate cancer and upcoming surgery, but this was the first time a member of the royal dynasty publicly spoke about Charles's health problems. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are once again at the center of a scandal. They visited Jamaica, where there were several nuances. These nuances are delicate and somewhat provocative. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex act as usual, and nothing else was expected from them. The premiere of the biographical film, Bob Marley. One Love took place in the capital of Jamaica, Kingston, which was attended by Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. And then there were nuances. Nuance 1, provocative, the unpopular couple had fun and photographed all night with the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness and his wife. And Andrew Holness is known for supporting the idea of an independent Jamaica and intends to turn it into a republic, breaking all ties with Britain. Recall that in 2022, Harry's nephew Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton visited Jamaica, combining it with the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the country's independence and the 70th anniversary of Elizabeth II's reign, during which they suffered a complete failure. Their visit caused angry protests among the island's population. The letter also added that he, the prince, is, as an heir, the recipient of everything stolen by trading Africans and demanded an apology from the British Crown for the slave trade. And Prime Minister Andrew Holness added to this by saying that Jamaica will go further and become a republic. In general, the visit failed in all directions. And now Harry and Meghan flew to the island and how to hug those who actually spat in the face of William and Kate. And this at a time when, and here we move on to nuance number two, delicate. If you are not aware, then we hasten to info RMU that the Princess of Wales, or simply the wife of William Kate recently underwent abdominal surgery. The operation is serious enough, otherwise why did they set strict deadlines for rehabilitation of at least 14 days question mark. And there is also the father of the brothers, better known today as King Charles III, we remember him as Charles's, who suffers from prostatitis and will also soon go for surgery. Based on all this, almost everyone in the BCS is on vacation, who is sick, who is sympathetic. And in such difficult and anxious times for the royal family from the branch of dissidents, there is no sound, no breath. Harry did not even think to express public sympathy for his daughter-in-law, let alone his aging crowned father. Instead, they have fun on the non-loyal British crown Jamaica. Many British bloggers are relentless in criticizing the next trick of the Sussexes and call them insensitive traitors. The bloggers did not bypass the king either. They strongly recommend that he finally strip Harry and Meghan of all their titles and let them go with God or the devil to all four sides.